everybody and welcome back to my channel or if you're new then welcome i am callie and a few weeks ago i went to visit my family in texas i'm here with my sister ashlyn Hello. and then i have my other sibling that way i uh, did not want to be part of it but uh, today we're at craft springs not in our bathing suits just hanging out and we're gonna go explore apparently but like look at this it's a Thursday, there's no one here. Like, we're here by ourselves, so. Yeah, pretty much. Hopefully, we're gonna go explore. You ready? Yeah, that's right gone. Up. All this stuff right here, this is all spaghetti. Let's um, <laughs> see what's around that. Tree oh, spaghetti. Fun. Generally what happens every time I go to Texas is we make a ton of plans and I'm really psyched and I'm gonna film a whole bunch and then uh, it just sucks me in and we wake up every morning and go downstairs and cuddle with all my mom's little dogs and you know hang out and then in the afternoons we go out and do stuff and to the point that by the end of the week I didn't even bring my camera anywhere. Starting on Thursday we went to Craft Springs which is the only thing I showed you guys. And it was really cool. It was a Thursday, there was no one there. There was a few people arriving by the time we were leaving. Um, unfortunately, it was kind of a last minute decision, so neither Ashlyn or I had our bathing suits to be able to go swimming, but it was still kind of cool to just even like walk around and walk through their little garden and everything. I believe Cross Springs works on a first come first serve basis, which worked out very well for us. Then on Friday, my mom took us to a little crystal and gem shop. I will put the name in the description box down below because I forget what it is. I feel like rocks is in the name, uh, which sounds silly. But um, anyways, I got some new little, little babies. So it was really cool. This is my first time getting into crystals um, and learning a lot of what they meant. So I got a clear quartz, a smoky quartz, a very tiny rose quartz, an adventurine, calcite, an onyx, a bloodstone, a rhodochrosite. I'm gonna butcher the pronunciation of this one, but I believe it is seraphonite. I did not pick this one out, my mom picked it out for us. I did also get a smudge stick for manifestation. I used it for the first time on Sunday. I made sure to look up how to use it correctly. Um, and it smells so good. <sighs> okay. 
Saturday we went to Six Flags Fiesta Texas for their little like horror thing fest. I don't know what it's called. Um, anyways, it was fun. Um, <sighs> so they do spray down the rides at regular intervals. There are also san like hand sanitizing stations after like immediately after you get off of each ride and then also you do have to wear a mask the whole time so i felt pretty safe being there um and they had like stickers all throughout the line so you could like space yourself out um that being said the halloween aspect of having actors all the actors were behind fences and again i know it's for safety's sake but it was not scary at all it was kind of fun to watch um but if you love being scared love haunted houses and halloween and stuff like that it's kind of a bummer <sighs> it kind of sucked but it was still cool and like their answer to make everything spooky was like fog they just pumped out a ton of fog and that stuff was so nasty to breathe in especially wearing a mask and as a cherry on top on sunday i actually went and got a tattoo my mom's husband is a tattoo artist and a great artist in general. He does comic books. Uh, his information is going to be down below, Mike Barentine, uh, and he did my tattoo. Uh, I'm going to put a picture of it because it's on my back and um, uh, it was quite the experience having my first tattoo. The first hour I was so confident and like, I'm killing this, I don't know what people are talking about, I'm doing great. And then he's like, okay, like I'm halfway done, which was a lie. It was a little less than halfway. Um, and he's like, now I'm going to do shading. Uh, I wanted to cry. Like that part hurt so bad. <laughs> that part hurt so bad. And it's funny because everyone was like, ooh, it's like right on your spine. The spine was the best part. It's anytime he moved away from my spine and I was like, so it was a pretty cool experience and I'm really happy with it and going into it I was really terrified that I was gonna vomit or throw up oh that's the same thing going into it I was really scared that I was gonna vomit or pass out um, because like that's what my anxiety does to me and I was even more terrified when I found out that there was like it was a busy day at the shop there were a lot of people there and I was like I'm not I'm not gonna do that and I didn't didn't I put headphones in I put my head down thankfully nobody could see my face and I just I don't know I don't know where I went for those couple of hours however I am back to real life back to editing um, if I have actually been working on a side project for Clarity Coach so if you guys want to search that again I'll put the information down below I've been editing videos for his channel which has been very exciting because this was my first like paid editing project um, and that has been a great experience to do to, to create work for someone else um, and kind of the learning curve that comes with that. We have a lot of fun Halloween stuff planned. I actually leave tomorrow to Orlando for a special something which will come out next week but until then I hope you guys have a good rest of your week and thank you so much for watching.